Hi there. I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use the controls in, for a video analysis in Logger Pro. Uh, Logger Pro is a software by Vernier Software and Technology. So first thing you're going to do when you open up a, a new file, you'll see this. And um, this is wider than my screencast, so I might need to scroll around. Um, so sorry for that, but we'll get through it. So first thing you want to do is insert a movie. So we go to Insert Menu and Movie, and pick the, the video that you want to analyze. Um, I'm going to pick one that Vernier already has. Um, sample movies, one of the, just do the ball toss one. And, and there it is. And uh, here are your video control buttons, play, stop, rewind, and step frame backward and forward. So if you play the video, it looks something like that, just the ball toss, and reset. So we're going to take this um, and we're going to do a video analysis. And this button right here will open up the pane that has the controls on it. And we can use this button right here to turn on the, the add point mode. And we can advance the, the ball to the point where it's out of her hand. Mm, looks like it's out of her hand there. So any place on the ball is fine. We can just, just do the top of the ball. Um, just as long as, you, as long as you're consistent, it should be fine. So we're starting to collect points now. Okay, and she's just about to catch it. I think maybe one more. That's the last frame right there. So there, there we go. Looks like she's touching it again. Okay. Oh, I didn't do so good. My points are a little wobbly, but that's the power of having a lot of data points. You can, you know, statistically is... You know, my variation should be, you know, in all directions. Um, okay, so there we go. Let's take a look at what we got here. So here's our data. Let me move this over. So we can see the, the X data is in red. That's the horizontal position, which is approximately constant. And the Y position data looks parabolic, which makes sense initially anyway. So let's see if we can... But provide some some meaning here. So we can take uh, this is our set scale button. We can say okay. So I don't see any kind of uh, meter stick or measurement uh, device in this image. Uh, maybe if you knew how long how tall the calendar was, well that's a little bit farther behind, or how far apart these um, outlets were here. But I remember reading somewhere in this video that the ball rose to about 1.3 meters over the detector. So we could, you know, click and drag something like this, and it got to about that height there. And let's just call that 1.3 meters, and and we'll live with that. So let's turn off the points. Let's turn off the scale. We can set the origin where we want. Um, we can set it right there if we like. So we can move this around wherever we want to, just clicking. And if you grab this, this allows you to rotate the axes. And we don't need to do that. It looks like it's turned on the points here. Looks like it's going up straight up and down. So that's pretty good right there. So we can turn that off and that off. And, and that should do it. So let me go to Page and just Auto Arrange and get these out of the way. Move this over here, and we can see we have our x position. We can click on this over here and choose. Let's look at the x velocity. What should that be? Let you decide. Boy, that looks like it's all over the place, but look at the scale here. So we need to change this scale. Click and drag this down. Drag this up. And if we get some kind of more reasonable scale here, it's plus and minus uh, one meter per second. You can see that it wobbles a bit, but it's mostly right around zero. In fact, we can come up here, do some statistics on it, and we can find that the statistics get the mean is about 0.025. That's pretty small. Let's see if I can double click that to enlarge it. The appearance, um, let's pick a bigger 12 font. Okay, it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so there we go. So there's the mean for the average of all these points. Okay, let's get rid of that. Now let's take a look at the y velocity. That's the velocity in the vertical direction. And that makes sense too. So we sh should be able to do a linear fit on on this. Oops, excuse me. 
drag this over here and we can see the slope there is about minus 10 meters per second squared. Okay, and the reason that's different from the expected value of gravity of 9.8 is, is because of my uh, approximation with the scaling. Um, okay, and that's about it. I think that's all I need to, all I can tell you about for the video analysis. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to go. Well, there it is. There's your introduction to video analysis with Logger Pro. Okay, bye.